This is a typical condition where the mud sill is wider than the studs and they apparently blocked behind here because you can see edge nailing all along the bottom edge of the plywood. Here's the ventilation hole. We can see that they used five ply plywood, which is a good thing. But we keep going up to the top of the wall, past another vent hole, and we find that they ran into balloon framing, which kind of stymied them because there's nothing to nail to along the top edge of the plywood. So there's a gap there. And the studs go all the way up past the, the uh, joist supporting the deck in this case. And if we look down here, there's a gap that goes down behind the plywood. I can't even see what's down there. Um, and then going up, we're looking into the inside framing of a, a porch railing up above. So the balloon framing, we've got joists that are face nailed to the studs. We've got a ledger supporting those, which is in the way of extending the plywood up anywhere. And in this case, we need to install two rows of blocks or one row of notched blocks to get the, the shear connection from the, the porch up above to the plywood that's already installed.